In this video we're going to teach you about Eclipse in terms of um, actually knowing how to navigate through it, know where everything is, and then we're going to set up the project and get basically show you how to how and where to write all your code. So it's pretty straightforward. So first thing we're going to do is let's open up Eclipse again. So just go to wherever you have it, maybe it's on your desktop, your icon, I have it right here. It's going to boot up. We got to browse to the appropriate workspace. Mine's already set up from last time we did this, so I'm just going to hit OK. Da, 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 da. And we're introduced to the Eclipse screen. Now, just hit the stop. I don't know why it's always running for some reason. Anyways, uh, so this is our basic setup. So I'm just going to quickly run you through all the different pieces of the puzzle here. There's a lot of different chunks. On the left here we have the package explorer. So basically any project that you have in part of your workspace shows up here in its own folder. Okay. Um, whenever you want to execute one of your programs, um, make sure you have the right one selected. We're going to the right files. We'll break that down in one second. Um, every project is going to have a main file, main.java or something similarly named like that. Um, and you can open it up. Let's just look at the well, we'll get into that in a second. Anyways, so there's a whole bunch of different options that we can set up. So let's take a look at everything that we have in here. So the button right here, this is your Save All button. Whenever you make changes, don't use the regular Save button. Use the Save All button. And the reason why we use the Save All button is because, because the way Eclipse works is when you modify one file, it potentially may modify many files just to update and make sure all the links work together. So whenever you're saving, use the Save All button. When you want to run your program, you can run your program in one of two one of two ways. If you know it works, you know it works well, and you're just going to be testing it for logic, then just use this green green and white arrow. If you know that there may be problems, or your normal your normal implementation is you're just going to use the little bug here, debug mode. Whenever you get an error in your programs, it's called a bug. I didn't make up the term, but whatever it is. When we're trying to fix our errors, we say we're debugging our programs. We're trying to get rid of the bugs. So when you're in development, typically you're going to use this version. And alternatively, you can just hit the F11 key and it will just run. Over here, to run it without debugging, you can hit Control F11 and it will do the same thing. No problem there. I should have mentioned before, to do the save all, there is a hotkey for that as well, Control Shift S. Try and get used to that as much as possible. Now there's two different view perspectives that we can be looking at. This is our regular code view. If we open up a file, let me show you. All of our editing goes in here into the editing window. We're not typically going to use the this uh, view over here very much. It's pretty much useless for us at this point. Um, sorry, this is so this is our main development uh, view. Sometimes when we're debugging, we're trying to fix our programs we get to just see the debug view. I can, click, I can access it just by clicking this and it'll look completely different and the whole purpose of this is that it gives us more information as our program is running. So for example this little uh, view up here allows us to look at the individual variables that are in our program um, any calculations that are happening and whatnot as the program is running. So it's a very useful tool. But typically we're going to be in the Java view. Now from here, um, as I said, we can edit all of our code in here just like you would any form of other text editor. Uh, if any form of, if any one of these tabs are missing or anything that you're looking for is missing, you can find them here in Windows, Show View, and then you see all the different options. So for example, right now I'm going to turn on Error Log because it doesn't seem to be showing down here. Error Log comes down here and it shows us any warnings or errors that are currently in our program. The warnings we can basically ignore, but when the errors occur, that means that the program's not even going to run. So any bugs that we see, they'll show up down there. So if I were to say, for example, delete that semicolon and save the program, what's going to happen is an error is going to show up. And when I try and run the program, oops, that's, why is it running? No, it's running the wrong thing. We can see here that there's a little X there. It's just running the wrong program for some reason. Anyways, um, it tells me that there's a problem. If I put my mouse over it, it tells me tries to tell me what the error is. Syntax error. Insert a semicolon to per to complete the statement. So we go down here, and I put my semicolon on, and it fixes the problem. And then I should be able to run this. 
There we go. We can see stuff actually happening down here. Uh, the reason why I was running that other stuff was because basically it was saying, hey, there's a problem here. Maybe you didn't really want to run this. Let's run the last thing that you ran that worked, which was some game testing that I was doing before. Anyways, down here, this is our information panel. The console is basically where if we have input and output with the user, it's going to show up down here. So we can display information to the user in text form. And the user can actually type information in here. So if I run this program, down in here I can write like a 5 and hit enter. And hey, I got it right. Well, that's pretty amazing. Anyways, um, outside of that, that's the basics of the entire IDE. There's not a whole lot else that we're going to be dealing with until we actually start writing code and breaking our programs and whatnot. 